What's up, Rant Gang? Welcome back to Red Fame Rants. I am Jay Red Fame, back with epic rap battles of history. Now, I know I slept on this one longer than I should have. Um, I, th I think a few people weren't happy because I put the Justin Bieber one out before I put this one out, but um, me, I, I have mentioned on other ones, won't go on about it again. Me head, me head has just not been there lately. Um, I've had things going on. In case you don't know and you just checking this reaction out now and you don't know what's been going on i've had a few issues um not me personally but family things in my family that i don't really want to talk about right now but um yeah and uh, me, me head just went there i was just a bag of nerves all the time so yeah um all i'll say is covid's a covid's a bitch man and yeah it affected my life in a big way for the first time so let's just leave that there however We've now got Donald Trump versus Joe Biden. All I'm going to say before we get into this is forgive me because there's that much going on in the world with coronavirus and my own country being run like a bag of shite. Um, I haven't had enough time to check out what's going on in, in other countries. Um, so if I don't know a lot of what's being said back and forth between Biden and Trump... It's just because I haven't paid it as much that much attention because because I feel like Boris is totally ruining my country and I just need yeah I need Boris out. Boris is an absolute fucking idiot man, and him and all his little cronies just need to piss off because they're just yeah they're just in it for themselves man. I mean who denies kids free school meals? Come on, come on, what the hell is going on? Who how can you vote against that? Hey, that, what that just shows you it's just, that's just that's how bad my country is at the moment that kids aren't getting me to start kids who are, who are not well off you and who are not getting fed properly at home because of maybe financial issues and, and then they're trying to take meals out of them out in school too i mean it's not not even just in school we're out of school when they're in the half term we were trying to get it passed that kids could still get them free school meals while he wasn't at school because kids are starving basically to that poor they're starving and they voted against that do you know how fucked up that is when they're all getting paid rises and everything just what well, do you know what i won't go on about it too much because a lot of people might not even know what's going on in my country i'm just talking like they do but yeah so if i miss anything it's because of that because i've got that going on and not that I, just me personally but um, I didn't need the free school meals. We're, we're lucky enough that we can put food in our little girl's mouth anyway, and in my big fat belly. So, yeah, but the fact that there's kids poor enough out there that need them meals and, and they voted against that, is, it's absolutely shocking. But let's get into this one. Let's see what's going on in someone else's country. Maybe it'll cheer me up a bit. <laughs> Maybe the fact that there's shit going on in the world in other countries except mine will cheer me up a little bit. So let's see. Let's go. Epic rap battles of history. Trump versus Biden. Let's check it out. The cold beat, though. Like you owe it a third time. Your campaign's like your family. Crash and burn. Including a virus. Oh. 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 <laughs> your campaign like your family. Crash and burn. Oh, that's that's cold. That is cold. I mean, I don't remember the exact. Exact. What's the word I'm looking for? Exact whatever of what went on with that so let me know in the comments but i do believe was it is joe biden's ex ex-wife and daughter and then they die they, they die in a plane crash something like that um maybe i'm wrong but just let me know as i said i'm sketchy on it i'm sketchy but oh that was cold it was cold is this me that's a right i'll just step behind the gym i'll be standing by I see how tough you are against the 45 i should have hoped for your whole party bigger than the one i blew through because i'm so loud money ah. then i go and <laughs> 
I'm gonna smash you, Joe. I've got all Ooh. the best cognition with all the top grammar. I'm not a little girl's shoulders, so you can't touch this MC stammer. You just said you're exciting hysteria. You say I'm selling hate in America. You're selling hate in America. Like with Hillary, the people aren't swayed. Just for our shadow. And I don't really like the shade. The pain of losing loved ones is something I have seen. So I know how you must have felt when they killed Jeffrey Epstein. Oh. <laughs> Jeffrey Epstein was actually a known friend of Donald Trump too, so yeah, yeah shots are coming back straight away. Yeah, they're, they're not they're not they're not mincing any words here, are they? They're going for it. Why is that coming up now? Why do I keep getting notifications? It's just on my computer. Does anyone know? While I'm here, does anyone know? Why I get BBC notifications a week later? Is it doing me as in? I got that notification on my phone like a week ago. So why is it only coming up now? Let me know in the comments if, if you know because it irritates the fucking life out of me. I know it's probably not to you people, but it irritates the fucking life out of me. For you, you should send a love letter for Kim Jong Un. You're a wrestling heel. Nothing about just real, <laughs> but you didn't even really write the article. <laughs> Take that back. Wrestling heel, nothing but just real. Bitch, you didn't even really write the art of the deal. But you tapped into the rage of red mad hatters. Well, let me tell you, Trump, all lies, man. All lies, matter. <laughs> So basically, he's basically saying he's a liar and then all lives matter, like all lives matter. Oh, it's brilliant, it's brilliant. I don't want a deep one, no police. I pick a DA for my VP. I'm not a communist, I'm not a socialist. I'm just an old ass man with some decency. No matter what you try to say, global warming ain't case. You pulled out a parachute, pulled out a stormy day. <laughs> I ain't <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. You pulled out a parish, you should have pulled out the Stormy Daniels. <laughs> no, didn't didn't Stormy Daniels say it was like like the worst, like 30 seconds, 60 seconds, 90 seconds, however long it was he lasted, it was definitely below two minutes. <laughs> but let's put it that way. Um yeah, it was like the worst, worst of a life and she had to pull down the Paris. I mean she should have pulled out the Paris. You pulled out the Paris, should have pulled out the Stormy Daniels. <laughs> oh fuck you know. This is getting this is this is pfft. Yeah, be up pulling no punches with this one. I'm tired of you, Donald Trump. You're fine. Well, I get it fired on my watch is tear gas from law enforcement. I keep America <laughs> great. You let me shit Tifa and keep America like portless hands. Ain't nothing gonna be me. No person, woman. You got the sloppy Joe, but no beef. You impeach me. I still walked out of DC looking peachy. <sighs> yeah, be a great one. It's absolutely TV. brilliant. No person, woman, man, TV. camera, TV. Oh, yeah. They impeached me. I still walked out of DC looking peachy. You got the sloppy Joe, but no beef. Ooh. The only way privilege I see are those teeth. Maybe teach you something. <laughs> This is cold, man. was a racist asshole, too. Stutty deal. What's this malarkey? Oh, you bastard! Keep at it and you'll end up in jail. I'll take it down like a mule. And you're a mailbox. From all your wives to the SATs. Everything you ever did, you just had to cheat. Because you're too insecure to even look like a loser. You're the worst damn Republican since Herbert Hoover. When you scooped up a second fan and all the fall boots. Remicate the classes. Who sends the best? They're confusing. 200,000 deaths lying at your door. You think they're suckers like McCain and the Marine Corps. Sometimes I can't tell for which side your room. When we go high, you go down on poop. Uh, truth is, you're scared to lose. You got nothing in the bank. <laughs> when we go high, you go down on Putin. Are you happy, man? It's a door. You think they're suckers like McCain and the Marine Corps. Sometimes I can't tell for which side your room. When we go high, you go down on poop. Uh, truth is, you're scared to lose. You got nothing. Shut up. 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to name. Do you know what? I, I just. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Um, who won? Right, I don't like doing this. But I'm gonna have to sit on the fence on this one. I'm just gonna have to say it. it's a draw. The reason is because I don't know enough about American politics. <clears throat> and I probably would have knew more of the world, just hadn't gone to shit right now. I'd have probably took more of an interest in it and what was being said on both sides and the points on each side. But as I said, my country is in that bad of shape at the moment, I feel. And with Corona going on and everything else... Um, I just don't, I, I can't say any definitive, I said, I'd say the real winners are us as the ERB fans, because that was cold, man, it was a cold one, um, maybe one of the coldest I've heard, now very cold lines, don't get me wrong, but to just go back and forth, just, just so viciously and brutally as they did, it was just, yeah, um, I'm just going to give that a draw, and I'll let my American friends you understand this a lot better than I do. Let me know in the comments um, who do you think won and why do you think they won? Now, is the one particular line why you feel they won, or is it like multiple points that they made in that battle? Why you think they won? As I said, let me know in the comments. I'm gonna sit on the fence. I think that's the best thing to do anyway. It's not. It's not for me to get involved in the in the American politics. In, in, trying to sway any voting because I just don't know enough and all politicians just seem to be fucking idiots anyway at the end of the day every one of them just just this is crazy this is crazy there's no normal politicians anymore they're all just they're all just mental and have their own agendas and don't really want to help anyone so yeah I, I don't know as I said I don't know I don't, I don't know I don't know what it's like in America but you let me know in the comments. Um, please like this video because it really does help me get more noticed on, on YouTube. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully I'll see you all on the next one.